I'm Santi and I'm the communications manager here at House. In today's session, we wanted to talk about how to work with clients in a time where new ways of communicating emerge almost every day. Technology is evolving constantly and so do consumer behaviours and expectations. With the rise of the instantaneous communication methods and the ubiquity of internet connected smartphones, it's very easy to constantly stay in touch through a variety of channels. In turn, more consumers are expecting the brands and companies they use to be available at all hours of the day. While it may be easier for large companies to meet consumer needs and preferences through expanded times and modes of communication, it can be challenging for small businesses to do the same. So how do you deal with a client that is always on, texting, emailing or calling you at all hours of the day? How can you set the right boundaries with clients? In today's webinar, we'll cover the following topics. Understand the client's needs, separate business communication, automate communication, charge a premium and enforce your boundaries. Let's first address an important factor in client home improvement professional relationships. A common sentiment shared by some home renovation professionals is that if the potential client doesn't respect the professional's business hours, it's an indicator that they may be tricky to work with. While there may be some truth in this, having this attitude could mean you lose the opportunity to work with good clients. When working with a client who communicates outside of business hours, keep in mind it may be that he or she is unable to connect during business hours. This could be for a variety of reasons, ranging from having professions that aren't in front of the computer or near a phone to being constantly on the go and traveling. Regardless of why, some clients may warrant expectations for some instances. HousePro is an all-in-one tool to manage your project and clients from start to finish. It is an essential tool to improve your communication. HousePro has features such as online messaging, photo and file sharing tools, and daily logs which help you to communicate with all your clients, even with the most difficult to reach clients. Separating your business and personal communication channels can be a way to give yourself space from clients who are eager to communicate. As many small business owners are looking for ways to keep overheads low, you may choose to do business from your personal mobile phone, computer or home. But with this overlap, it makes it hard to avoid business communication during your personal time. Nowadays, it can be easy to normalize working long hours or sending emails during the weekend, but reducing your free time can have some serious effects on your mental health, which will end up affecting your business. That's why it's important that you find the right work-life balance. In order to find this balance, you may find it beneficial to purposely make yourself less accessible out of work. If you can afford to increase in overhead costs, consider investing in a separate business phone line. This will allow you to disconnect and let messages to go to voicemail while letting you have your personal phone for your non-business communication needs. Having a separate email address could be beneficial too. Also, if you're working long hours, don't include weekends. Try to make plans ahead of time and enjoy this free time with your family and friends. Leave your business phone at home and just focus on having fun. Sometimes preventing communication overload outside of work hours is as simple as reminding clients about the appropriate hours for client communication. It's a polite way to proactively inform clients when they can expect to be reachable and can be especially helpful if you ever work with a client from another time zone. There are different ways to make sure the client knows your working hours. List them on your website, email signature, or even include them in your contract. Another way of letting your clients know all the aspects of your business is by setting up your house business profile. In three easy steps, you can create a great profile to get started. Add your business details. This helps great clients find you instead of the other way around. Upload photos, show off your best projects and give clients an idea of what you can do. And don't forget to request reviews. Homeowners always look at reviews first, decide which pro they want to hire. And one last thing, don't forget to include your keywords in your profile. This way you'll increase your online presence and it'll be easier for your ideal clients to find you. It's important to make clients understand what's considered appropriate to justify a discussion outside of standard business hours, especially to those who are new to the renovation process. Issues that are common in the renovation process for an experienced professional to handle the next business day may seem critical or urgent to some clients. For these scenarios, let them know which issues warrant discussing after hours and which issues are less critical and can wait until the next business day. For example, if someone shows up in your client's house to carry on some work on a different day than one you both agreed, that would be an emergency. You should also suggest the method of communication that's best suited for each issue. Leveraging technology to meet a client's communication needs and preferences can help you provide the quality of service your clients are looking for 
while reducing the time you need to spend on work communications during your personal time. Automating communication gives you the peace of mind that client emails are acknowledged and most of this technology is likely already in the email product or service you're using. Email autoresponders, for example, are becoming much more common. A marketing show up a study of over a thousand marketers found that 50% use an automatic welcome email. For incoming communications during your off hours, set your email to automatically respond and inform the client that you'll review their message the next business day. You can make this email even more engaging by including links to interesting articles that would allow them to continue to research. This way, the client feels like they get a more meaningful response. If you want to send a more personalized reply than an autoresponder can provide, but don't want to open the floodgates of communication, you can use the send later feature on your email. It allows you to address the message at the moment, but because it's not delivered until later, it sets the expectation that the homeowner should not expect instant responses. HousePro now offers an integration with Gmail. This extension will let you access HousePro CRM features from your own Gmail account so you can keep all your client communications tracked in the HousePro. Plus, this extension gives you access to quick reply templates so you can quickly respond to new inquiries that come in through email. For pros who don't mind communication outside of the standard business hours, charging a premium for that time is a great way to keep it to a minimum while capturing additional revenue. The fee provides a disincentive for clients to contact you outside of your preferred hours while still allowing you to remain flexible enough to meet your clients' needs. Heather Cleveland of Heather Cleveland Design shared her opinion with us. In the last couple of years, I've noticed the expectation of evening and weekend time. As someone who values my family time, I struggle with how to manage that because saying no is really difficult for anyone in the service industry. So I found a way to say yes. I now have evening and weekend rates that are now almost double my regular rate. Far fewer people ask me for that time now, so I know that if I'm going to take that time away from my family, I'm going to be compensated for in a way that feels worthwhile. The next tip may go against the nature of any small business owner who wants to stay on top of all aspects of the business, but remember, if you don't want to communicate outside of your designated work hours, you're not under any obligation to do so. Set the boundaries at the beginning of the project by defining the appropriate times and channels of communication and letting clients know when they can expect you to be accessible. If you make it clear and are responsive when you say you will be, the client should be less likely to feel neglected or upset when they don't hear from you in your free time. Simply wait to respond to that call, text message or email until the next business day. There's a good chance a client won't mind and if they do, it's an opportunity to reinforce your boundaries by reminding them that the communication came in during your personal time. Even though you're a service provider, you are in control of your own boundaries. HousePro can help you to keep all your client communications in one place so you don't need to worry about organising your inbox during your free time. The HousePro client dashboard can help you to manage everything related to customers' communications. Give them the transparency and collaboration they want in a branded and impressive way. With the Houseboro Client Dashboard, you'll be also able to organize everything in one simple inbox, give clients 24 access to a project dashboard with all the details, and allow clients to see invoices, approvals, and so much more. Whether you're a designer, builder, architect, or a home renovation professional, Houseboro has a wide range of features to help you manage your business and make your life easier, such as the project tractor, daily logs, a custom website, and many more. There are different packages available that include different features based on your needs. If you want more info, you can visit the page written at the bottom of the slide. That's house.com.au slash housepro slash pricing. And for those in New Zealand, that's house.co.nz slash housepro slash pricing. And that's all for today's session. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please contact us via support on the Housepro page. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.